probably just goes running by the hallway <laughs> laughing. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> morning box I am heading home I just finished annotating and all of that doing the thumbnail for the Ken short I hope you guys liked it um, it's about cloth diapering but I think any parent that has diapered any baby would find it amusing because it's all about poop so if you haven't checked it out go check it out I think it was really funny and I I'm gonna talk about my hair and makeup for a second here because I'm actually really proud of it today. I woke up really early this morning and normally when I come to Starbucks I just throw my hair in a bun and get out the door as quickly as possible because sometimes getting ready wakes Roslyn up and I don't want to wake her up before I leave. I want her to sleep in which is the whole reason why I leave to edit. I woke up really early and she seemed really quiet and it was really dark because it's rainy today. So I curled my hair. I did my makeup. And I actually really like it. I thought it turned out pretty well. And I'm excited because later today, Ken and I are going on a hot date. And I wanted to show you my shirt too. I don't know if you can see it because maybe the car is not the best place to do like a outfit of the day. But it's like this maroon peasant top that my mom bought for me when we were at Penny's a couple weeks ago. And I love it because it, it literally reminds me of a peasant top. Like I think I could wear this to the Renaissance Festival and blend in. And it this color, every time I wear this shirt, it reminds me of theater in high school because Ken and I were really, really into theater. And Shakespeare is like my favorite thing ever. So like we did A Midsummer Night's Dream and Much Ado About Nothing. And every time I wear this shirt, I'm like looking at myself in, my, in the mirror and just thinking, foul words is but foul wind and foul wind is but foul breath and foul breath is noisome. Therefore, I will depart unkissed. That's right. I remember my lines from 11 years ago. I miss it a lot. I should audition for something. What do you guys think? Ken and Roslyn were playing in her room when I got home. So I'm gonna take the dogs on a real quick walk. Well, while the rain has broken, it is a little rainy today. But it's paused. Oh, stretch, 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 shake, shake, shake. Do and diaper laundry again. You know, it's funny, I've talked about this before, but I don't mind doing diaper laundry. I really hate doing other laundry, but diaper laundry is not that bad. The new candle came. So excited. It smells really, really good, you guys. It came yesterday, and I didn't vlog about it because we did the Ken short yesterday, but I did post it on Instagram, and I got my new ring. Check it out, Ooh, focus. Here's the weird thing about this ring. I'm pretty sure it's Peridot. But in this light, and it's not really showing up in the camera, and the camera still kind of looks like Peridot, but in the light in her nursery, it kind of looks like citrine. It's like yellow. But then, look how much greener it looks in the kitchen. So I definitely think it's Peridot. Um, according to Jewel Scent, it is worth $31. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is a Jewel Scent candle. Um, which is similar to that diamond candle that I got a while ago. What they do is it's a candle and then you burn it and as you burn it down There's a ring wrapped in there. That's in foil and the ring is worth anywhere from ten dollars to um, In this case seven thousand five hundred dollars. I think diamond candle only goes up to five thousand but then after you Burn it you can take the little foil out and get your ring so the reason why I ordered from jewel scent instead of from diamond candle is because um, the diamond candle one doesn't let you pay, pick your ring size and Jewel Scent does. Another fun bonus with Jewel Scent though is that it comes with a code on it and you can go on their website and check and see how much it's worth. Now, according to them, this is worth $31, which may be, I mean, at department stores you see costume jewelry like this, even like 50 bucks, but then you can see it at Walmart for like seven. So I don't know, I, I'll believe it. Obviously, I think they're going to say it's worth a little bit more than it really is. But it's so much fun, and I'm really addicted to it. And the best part is it smells amazing. Like, my whole house smells like apple now. Thanks, Rosalind. Thank you for the Pog. Do you remember Pogs, guys? This is Rosalind's new favorite toy. Thank you for the cup, too. Thanks. 
I have the stroller in the house because I took the girls for a walk yesterday and Roslyn just climbed right into it. So we're gonna go for a walk. Roslyn's got her sippy cup and her baby doll and I have got you guys and a podcast. I'm listening to the Diaper Dirt podcast, which is like my new favorite thing. I've never listened to podcasts very much, but I actually have really enjoyed it. And now I'm like, I never listen to the radio because instead I'm always listening to podcasts. Check it out if you're into podcasts. It's kind of fun to listen to something about parenting in the car, you know? Box, you exhibitionist, you have been naked for days. So we got you some new box bling. And I asked you guys which ones you wanted, and a couple of people voted, and a couple of you were really specific, but most people wanted a witch hat. And Southern Bride JS was very specific. She said she wanted the purple and black striped one with an orange trim. And then Charlotte Black said orange with black polka dots. I think she means this one that has the stars, but I wasn't sure. So I knew that Southern Bride JS wanted this one. So that's your new bling. I hope you enjoy your bling and sorry to those of you who liked the bow tie I'm sure we'll do something else and if your vote didn't win this will not be the only time that we're giving you some bling but most people wanted a witch hat so there you go Rosalind's taking a nap so I decided to do my hair a little bit better I had done like just normal curls but I used my curling wand for this I don't know so now I'm all gussied up and pretty for our hot date tonight. I'm so excited. I need a haircut so bad. I've been so frustrated with my hair lately and it's been not holding curl. Cause I haven't gotten my hair cut since I was pregnant. It's been like two years since I got my hair cut. So I really, really need it. I also did my nails last night. The middle finger is a jamboree nail, which I got just as a free sample. And then this color that's on the fingers, everything else, this like taupe color, is Wet n Wild, which is my favorite nail polish of all time. We're on our way to our hot date. Mm -hmm. Ken is eating, which he shouldn't be doing because we're gonna eat there. We're snacking. We're running late and it's actually really cool because what we're gonna do is a baby swap. So this new movie theater opened and we're going to go there. It's one of those ones that has like dinner at the same time. I don't think it's a common thing. No, I've never heard of it before, but it's cool because it's less time consuming. You get dinner and a movie, so you don't have to have a babysitter for as long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our friend's house, drop off Roslyn, we're gonna go see a movie, and then we are going to come back and watch their baby while they go see the same movie. There's some convenient things about having friends with babies. We're gonna go see Maze Runner? Yeah, Maze Runner. Maze Runner. So if you guys have seen that movie, what'd you think of it? No spoilers. No spoilers, don't tell me anything. We're running really late, and so we're like planning our exit strategy from the car, because it always takes longer when you have a kid. So Ken was just like, I'll get Roz when you get the diaper bag and stuff. And we're gonna just go as soon as we get there. So we can drop her off at the babysitters and run. So excited for our hot date. Mm. <laughs> we're on our way back to go pick up Little Cub. That was really fun. I really it liked really, it. It was really cool. They So they have these really plush leather, plushy seat that there's a button and it reclines you for the movie and they have a little tray that swings around in front of you so you can have your soda and your drink. It was a really neat experience. So if you have one near your in your area that's a dine-in movie theater, I'd recommend it. It's probably pretty cool. And they like sneak in or whatever and like take your order and there's like a little button that you push like it's a flight attendant or something. So that was cool. And the movie itself was good. It, we went and saw Maze Runner. It was okay. It, the the if I could describe it in one word, it would be vague. Yeah. I feel like we would have maybe liked it better if we had read the book, but it it'll be interesting. Most things are like that, though. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna go pick up Little Cub, and we're gonna watch our friends' baby while our friends go and do the exact same thing we just did. Down. <laughs> We're babysitting while our friends go to 
their movie. And we took the girls to the park. And Ken insisted on baby wearing our friend's baby and pushing the stroller. So I felt really useless and he was like, just, just hold box. Having fun, girls? That's fun, huh? Do you have a clip for her hair? We forgot the clip for her hair and her hair was in her eyes and the only thing I had was my ponytail. So we've got my ponytail holder, which looks quite interesting on your little head. Yeah? What's that? This is a swing. Let her come traverses the two meter long mountain face. She stops for a quick respite. She overlooks how far she's come. Taking in the majesty of the park bench and curb line things. Little Cub wants to ride on Papa's back. Wee! <laughs> on to the couch! Go, 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 go! Uh, go, 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 go! That's right, Chloe. Chloe just keeps running by the hallway laughing. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Oh, 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 I feel like a nature photographer. Give Rosalyn a hug. That's Rosalyn. She wants to give you the strap. Yeah. <laughs> kiss her back. This is the end of the vlog. I know it's very sad, Apollo. Hey guys, thumbs up if you think that Heidi looks absolutely amazing right now. It was so much fun having a hot date with my husband. Mm. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. We do this every single day, so you can hit the subscribe button if you would like to see that. And actually, I was talking to you about podcasts earlier, and I'd like to know if any of you do listen to podcasts, who you listen to, because the only one I really listen to is Diaper Dirt, and I'd love to hear more parenting ones. And my mornings are very quiet as well, so if you have any podcasts that I would enjoy, I'd like to know about them as well. Yep. So. And we'll talk to you tomorrow because we do this every day. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. And we'll get the back end too. And just. <gasps> oh! 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 oh my God.